Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today we are traveling to Paris for some macaroons. So this is the March collection from Madame Glam. This is the macaroon collection inspired by the beautiful pastel macaroons from Paris. I was very excited to see Paris in our travel. I guess I just kind of assumed we we're going to stay within the U.S. for traveling because we did Chicago, we did Las Vegas, but now we're heading to Paris. Very excited about it. So Madame Glam so kindly sent me over the entire macaroon collection. I'm so excited to swap these out for you. We have 10 pastel macaroon colors and we got a new top coat. This is the confetti no wipe top coat. So, if you guys are familiar with Madame Glam, they came out with the Gold Flake Snow White Top Coat, which this sold out so fast. So if you want the confetti top coat, I would grab it. I would grab it now because I have a feeling this is going to sell out very quick. But I will do this confetti topper um, on top of all of these colors to check it out. So let's get right into it these are just giving me easter vibes i am ready for spring so out of no particular order i picked spring in paris as the first one to swatch which is very fitting i don't know how i managed to pull <laughs> the spring in paris one first but this one's like a nude <laughs> So here is what Spring in Paris looks like. It is a nude. It's got a little bit of a pinky hue to it, but it's mostly neutral. So I'm definitely going to compare these to some of the nudes I already own from them. I will be doing comparisons after all the swatches, so definitely stay tuned for that. Next up we have Blueberry Cream. This is a chalky pastel blue which is gorgeous here is blueberry cream and it is a beautiful chalky pastel blue very pigmented too next up we have lemon pie which is our pastel yellow I'm excited for this one because I don't have a very good pastel yellow in my collection. Here is what lemon pie looks like. Next up we have sweetness, which is a more of a purpley color. <laughs> Here is what sweetness looks like. It definitely looks like a sweet tart candy color. Very, very light, off-white. It's got like a purpley, but also a blue tint to it. Next up, we have Candyland, and this is more of a green. This is kind of like a blue-green, almost a teal pastel. <laughs> Here's what Candyland looks like. Again, a nice soft teal shade. Next we have Cherry Petals. I love the name of this one. It's a soft pink color. Definitely the shade of like a cherry blossom. Here is what Cherry Petals looks like. I feel like the camera's having a hard time picking up on it, but it is a very, very soft pink, like just slightly off-white, but it is pink. Next we have Primavera, and this one is a green, like a minty green. Here 
here is what Primavera looks like, a beautiful minty green. This just gives me like York mint patty vibes, <laughs> I don't know why. Next up we have Raindrop, which is a blue kind of periwinkle type shade. Here's what Raindrop looks like, a nice periwinkle light blue. Next we have I Lime You. This one is another green, but it is more on the lime versus the last one was more of like a mint green. Here is what I Lime You looks like. And the final one of the collection is Viola. This is a chalky purple. Here's what viola looks like, a nice chalky purple shade. So I am going to go ahead and do a second coat of all of these colors and then I think I'm going to top coat half of them with the velvet matte top coat just because I want to see how velvety these pastels look. And then the other half I will use the confetti no wipe on. Okay, so I'm back. So I've top coated all of them. I top coated these five with the confetti topper. They look so pretty. I was thinking the confetti topper was going to be more like a eggshell type of a color, um, but these are like iridescent glitters. Super pretty. Like I think just for spring, just to do five different pastels, all with this topper on it, looks really cute. I would definitely rock that. You guys know I don't do pastels, but if I do all different pastels with a fun topper, I think I would wear it. Okay, and here are the other five with the velvet matte top coat. And those look stunning. These look like those, what are they, the Cadbury? Like little eggs, they look exactly like that because they're all matte. So pretty. You guys will have to let me know if you like them matte better or if you like them shiny with the confetti topper better because I can't choose. They all look so good. <laughs> but here is the entire collection here. It is such a fun collection. So I want to go ahead and do some comparisons before I do my final review. So I want to do comparisons within the collection first because we do have some similarities. So I want to pull the blues here. So we have blueberry cream, raindrop, candyland. So as you can see, Candyland is definitely more teal. It is more on the green side. If you compare Raindrop to Blueberry Cream, Raindrop has more of a purple hint to it. And let me pull the actual swatches. There, you can see the swatches. This is a lighter blue and this one has the tiniest tint of purple in it and then if we go in the greens so i pulled back candyland and we have i lime you and primavera so again when we're looking at the greens then candyland stands out looks like a blue so it's definitely like right in between this one doesn't really compare to any of them it is like its own shade and if we're looking at these two, I Lime You and Primavera, let me pull swatches of those guys. Luckily, these two are both matte. So you can see I Lime You is definitely lighter. It has that yellow hue to it versus Primavera is definitely more on the green, green side, maybe even with a little bit of a blue in it, but it doesn't lean towards that blue teal at all. Then if we do purples, we got Viola and Sweetness. 
So you can tell that viola is definitely more purple and uh, sweetness leans a little bit on the blue side, but it wasn't blue enough to compare to the blue, like next to the blue, it looks pretty purple. But I would say um, viola is definitely our like actual purple in the collection. And then we only have one yellow, so nothing to compare there. If we compare the pinks, we have cherry petals and springtime in Paris. They're not really comparable because springtime in Paris is more on the nude side. And looking at the swatch here, it almost looks kind of peachy. And then here is cherry petals. You can see how, I mean, this one's having a really hard time picking up in camera. It's looking white. It is so light. It's really an off-white pink. And then uh, Springtime in Paris is looking more peachy. But I feel like it's more of a neutral than an actual peach. Okay, so that was comparisons within the collection. Now I wanna pull my outside ones. So we have Springtime in Paris. This one is Smelly Cat. So if we're looking at them, Smelly Cat is definitely more yellow. It's more of a vanilla bean. And here you can see Springtime in Paris has more of that pink or peachy hue to it. And I did have some other nudes that were like a pinkish hue, but they were much brighter, much bolder that they didn't even really compare. Then next to compare, so we have Blueberry and Cream and Candyland from this collection compared to Pure Cloud. And Pure Cloud still doesn't even really compare. Even if I pull in sweetness, then that's too purple for it. But Candyland is too green for it. And Blueberry and Cream almost has some purple to it, but then when you pull the purple, it looks more blue. Um, but I would say out of all of them, actually Pure Cloud would be your traditional off-white blue shade. These ones have a little bit more color to them. I feel like this one would be more of like your eggshell blue type of a color. The next cherry petals compare to baby pink and that's how light cherry petals is. Is So this is baby pink. This is the lightest pink I own. I thought you could not get any lighter of a pink than baby pink. Then you get cherry petals and cherry petals looks white next to baby pink but it's not because if i put it next to white then there you'll see the pink hue to it you can see there is definitely more pink in baby pink than in cherry petals then we have Primavera next to Honeydew. Honeydew is definitely bolder, a little bit darker, um, but they are kind of similar. So then we have I Lime You with Early Bird. Early Bird is definitely a way brighter version. If not, it even has more green to it. Then we have Viola and Light Lilac which again, Light Lilac has more of a purple pack to it. It is a lot brighter in shade. So you can kind of see, I think with the exception of Primavera, which got really close to looking like Honeydew, like that was probably the closest comparison. But overall, I really didn't have any of these pastels from Madame Glam. So these are all really new and they're perfect for spring. I feel like everyone's spring collection last year was a lot brighter of a spring. And this year it seems like the pastels are coming back. Even the Light Elegance spring collection 
They were pastels, but they were more of muddy pastels. I would say this is a true pastel collection. All right, so here are all the colors together. I put them in a nice like, rainbow gradient. They look so pretty. But when you do this, you can really see how all the shades are pretty different and they kind of go from one shade into the next. And just even having some of these matte, some of these confetti glitter, super fun to have that mixed in. And you can see the polishes don't quite fit on my background there, but that's okay. So my final thoughts on this collection. Yes, I love this collection. However, I do feel like some of the shades are a little repetitive. I almost feel like we could have had this collection cut in half and then had more toppers to go with it would have been a fun collection. Though none of these are dupes for each other, they are all unique. So I kind of see it both ways. And it definitely fills in a lot of my current collection with shades that I didn't have either. And pastels make a really good background shade. They go good to pair with the bolder colors. So it is good to have them in your collection, though pastels aren't my favorite. Although I'm kind of into the pastel this, this year. I don't know if it's just because I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for some warmer weather. Let's bring on the pastels. I'm not quite ready for the neons yet, which I usually want to jump straight into the bright colors, but I'm actually really liking these shades here. And all of the names are super cute. We have the blueberry cream, sweetness, uh, lemon pie. They're all super cute foodie type of names. So you guys all have to let me know down below what you think of the Macaroon Collection and if you're picking up any of the shades from this collection. What are your favorites? What are your thoughts? But if anything, I would definitely pick up the Confetti Topper. This is super fun. Iridescent glitter. This is going to top with anything. And if you haven't picked up the Flake Top Coat, pick that one up as well. Both are good staples. I love that companies are doing these toppers now. I think that's really fun. And they really go with any colors and they just make it easy to add a little bit something extra to the design. I also love that they're a no wipe top coat. So you get the glitter on the top coat and the ease of not having to cleanse the nails afterwards. It's a really nice all in one type of a product and they can easily pair on top of any colors. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing my swatch videos. And where do you think Madame Glam is going to be traveling next month? Does anyone have any guesses? I'm curious just to see um, what people think or if people have any places that they're hoping Madame Glam travels to, I would love to hear that as well. I think like a Japanese Tokyo type of collection would be fun, but I have no insider knowledge. I don't know what they're doing next, but I know it will be fun. And don't forget, I do have my discount code with them. Make sure you use my code, save 30% off of these new colors. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.